Hello, welcome to this video to instruct you how to configure your H1 inverter with the basic settings to get your system up and running correctly. What I'm assuming here is that your inverter has been correctly connected up. I'm going to use the ONM app, which is this icon here. Click on it and it's going to launch it. So here you can see that you have a login if you already have a login, I don't want you to log in at this stage. All I want you to do is click on the local connect button. When it invites you to enter a password, enter the password 123456 and press confirm. Here you can see it gives you two options, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. I want you to connect to the H1 inverter with Bluetooth. So having clicked on the Bluetooth button, now press the next button. And here you can see it's trying to pair with a Bluetooth signal. Click on the blue link signal. At this point, I don't want you to configure the Wi-Fi or connect to with Ethernet. All I want you to do is skip this section. So click on skip and here you can see the Bluetooth devices that your mobile device can see, which is the module, the communications module and the inverter itself. Click on the inverter option. Here you can see all the functions available for you to configure the inverter and we're going to go through the basic settings of what you need and there are five options which we have to go through. The first one is initial setting. Here you will see it invites you to enter the country code, in this case it's England, grid code G99 and here to enter the time. And here it will display the inverter that you're connected to. Once you've selected the appropriate options, press save and then we can exit this section once it's complete. Here you can see a countdown is taking place when it's appended all those appropriate settings. Select I know and now we've completed that setup. Back to the main menu, now we want to select battery settings. So here we have some options of what battery we are using. In this case, we are selecting the SAJ CAN battery. Press the save button, press the saved settings. And now that is complete, we can return back to the main menu. The next option we want to look at is the working mode. So here you can see the default is set to self-consumption mode and I want to keep it on this so there's nothing to change here so nothing to save so I'm going to come back out of this option the next option that we need to look at is the communication setting this is the setting required to enable the meter at the income of the building to communicate correctly to our H1 inverter and it has to be set to a board rate of 9600 and have the address 1 when there's 1 meter. Save that option the setting is now applied and we can come out of that option to the last option that we need to look at which is measuring device. Here you need to set it to be single phase which it is already and here you can see the system schematic of the system and it's using the DDSU treble six with an external 100 amp CT based clamp. We'll save that, again apply the settings and now we're gonna come out of that back to the main menu. 
So here we've been through the settings, initial setting, battery settings, working mode, communication and measuring device. And that's all the basic settings complete.